Welcome to your source for research, innovation, news, insights, and commentary. This is your Research Business Daily Report, sponsored by Decipher, focusing on technology and research systems that bring data to life and revealing how even seemingly small discoveries can yield meaningful insights. A few weeks ago, I was surprised during an interview to learn that one of this country's largest companies is conducting a sizable amount of research using its employees, and it's doing so on a global basis. Perhaps I shouldn't have been surprised because there's a new best practices LLC study of 46 leading global companies, and it shows many leading organizations have begun to capture critical product and market insights by using their employees as respondents. Approximately three quarters of the participating companies in the best practices study said they either do internal studies with employees frequently or sometimes. Aside from valued results, the companies say they feel their internal employee research has boosted employee engagement, it has increased cost savings, it has filled in gaps left by external research, and it has created greater research flexibility. To many, the only thing more uncertain than big data is hype is evidence of any actual deliverables. Eric Hesseldahl, senior editor of All Things Digital, tried to clarify the hype from the reality in a column late last week. He explained Gartner Research's position about big data, which for over one year has seen it as a useful technology at or near the peak in the hype cycle, meaning expectations are inflated and out of sync with reality. But Hesedal pointed out that there are major forces pushing big data, and they're doing so forcefully. IBM has been its biggest proponent, quote-unquote, usually to push its analytic software and systems, Hesedal said. But there are also numerous big data startups that have been funded by prominent venture capitalists. Said Hesedal, quote, if big data is indeed due for a drop in the trough of the typical hype cycle path, that would mean that early trials of pilot projects would have to fail to deliver expected benefits. That hasn't happened yet, he emphasized. And he said one sign to watch for is the fortunes of companies selling and servicing Hadoop, the open source computing environment that breaks big data problems down to manageable sizes. Hesedal also noted that Gartner's rival IDC is predicting revenues for companies in the Hadoop business are going to grow more than 10 times between now and 2016, and they could even disrupt the businesses of software giants like Oracle and Teradata. Finally, we want everyone to know about the fact that we have put up a new RFL Communications website. Now, the URL remains rflonline.com for those of you who have seen it over the years. But now, you can view the latest RBDR video on the homepage, as well as the RBDRs from the last 30 days. And of course, learn about our four market research newsletters. Check it out today. That's your Research Business Daily Report, sponsored by Decipher, focusing on technology and research systems that bring data to life and revealing how even seemingly small discoveries can yield meaningful insights. All week long, we will be sharing various Decipher insights into mobile research in the content box underneath this video screen, so please take a look. Have a great research day, and we'll join you again tomorrow.